Well, that uh, fly ball was truly magnificent. My word, what well, the team focus is. Very fast, and as fast as anything I've seen, and I believe uh, that they broke all records. We've never seen anything quite as fast here at Crofts. Well, we're coming up now with a display by the West Midlands Police. They always come and perform here for us at Crofts. They're a marvellous marvellous crowd of people. We have cer certainly two puppies coming in first, uh, that you'll see, and followed by another four puppies. And three of the puppies, we're worth, worth looking at them very carefully because uh, they're not all German Shepherds. These two, uh, three of them will be Belgian Shepherds, Malinois. The demonstration's actually starting now, and, uh, well, you can see what's happening. Dave Hibbert, who's a police dog instructor, will be picking up the commentary in just a moment. But uh, I'll let you enjoy the spectacle. Here we go. Beautiful animals. Look at those. A couple of German Shepherds there. You wouldn't want to tangle with one of those, would you? Brilliant dogs, brilliant dogs, well trained, and the display here always is absolutely fascinating. Hope you're enjoying the coverage here on Croft Live on YouTube. We're covering everything in this main arena from 8.45 in the morning till the end of the day's proceedings. Everything that happens live in the arena. But here's our commentator, he's a police dog instructor, Dave Hibbert. These two of our young dogs, uh, with Mr. Dave Raymond, our puppy development manager. Within the West Midlands Police, we breed between 10 to 15 litters of puppies every year, and they form part of our puppy development program. So this. Uh, is a 12-week-old Balinois called Pancho. She's one of our young dogs in training at the moment. So what you'll see, Dave is encouraging the dog to chase after and be engaged with a little ragger. The dog will take hold of it and engage with Dave in a, in a game of tug. And this is how we start off our police dog training. We get her to see, chase the tug, Dave will give her a bite, and then she's rewarded with a toy and run off as a reward. Here we have uh, one of our volunteers, Luke Nagginton, with uh, puppy Elsa. She is a six-month-old German Shepherd. Again, she's been bred as part of our puppy development program, and she's now progressing to something slightly bigger as a toy. So all of our training with our young dogs is all about play and reward, and lots of interaction uh, with Dave as the trainer. We have a very successful puppy development program where we rely on members of the public to become volunteers. So there's puppy Elsa just leaving the stage. Here we have some of our older dogs. Um, so Georgia McCabe, one of our kennel assistants with Young Dog Rubble. Gemma Marshall with Kelly. Greg Ward with Freya. And um, Gemma with... Um, Shiva. Now all of these dogs are just to start embarking on their journey as police dogs. They will be uh, joining an initial course in April where they'll be matched up with a handler and go through a 12 week intensive training course to develop their skills as a police dog. So here you'll see Dave, again he's using the toys and equipment, he's getting them to bark at him, focus on him and as soon as they do that he'll deliver the reward which is a big game of tug to the dog. So here he is working Kelly, she's a 14 month old German Shepherd, she's currently living with one of our volunteer families at the moment, where she'll come in in April and start her initial course. His police dog trainee Rubble, again as you'll see what Dave's doing is trying to encourage the dog to bark, remain in a fairly static position and as soon as he gets that he uses the toy to reward the dog and tell the dog it's done the right thing. We'll do a little chase. So this is where we start to teach the dog to run in and take a bite. And again, as you'll see, Dave's highly interactive with the dog. That's police dog Sheba just leaving the stage there. And this is uh, Sheba's sister, this is Freya. Again, she's a 12-month-old German Shepherd Malinois Cross. Again, another dog bred uh, by the Puppy Development Programme who went through her training with a volunteer. 
So what Dave's doing now is slowly getting the dog's transitioned onto a sleeve. So we move from a tug onto a sleeve onto the arm, and you'll see he's getting the dog to target and take the inside arm of a bite. And you'll see that progress a bit later with some of our older dogs. So there's trainee Kelly with Gemma Marshall. And finally, police dog Rubble. Again, we just transition him onto the sleeve now, so we'll do a little chase. He takes a good, nice bite, he carries on holding on, and is rewarded by running off with the sleeve once he's done what he's expected. There's Jordan McKay with Young Dog Rubble, and Dave Raymond, our Public Development Manager. Once our dogs have gone through their puppy development process, they get matched with a dog handler who starts a 12-week intensive initial course. Um, here we have uh, Mr. Scott Mulsher and Mr. Tony Brown, two of our police dog instructors who are currently running two initial courses at the moment. So you'll see two of our dogs, um, one of them, uh, as you'll see, with Lisa Phillips and Goose. Goose is five weeks into her 12-week training course, uh, where you've got Sergeant <coughs> with um, Astro. So Astro's just been released. And what you'll see is if the decoy is not offering a threat to the handler, the dog will just bark and then either be called back or stop barking, put into a down, or deal with the criminal. Hopefully he'll go back to the handler. There we go. As I say, these dogs are currently in training at the moment. Things sometimes do go wrong in training. They're halfway through a 12-week course. So as you'll see, we'll just get control of him. And then what we'll do, we'll bring the dogs back into the middle. So what we'll see now is the dogs will be offered a threat, the decoys will run away, and the dogs will be sent to chase after. So here we've got young dog Goose and young dog Astro who will take the bite and take hold of the decoy. And the dogs will carry on fighting whilst the handler gets into a position and they'll be called off or with Goose taken off and they'll let go of the criminal when out. So what we see with the dogs when they get to the end of their 12-week course, they go through an assessment, uh, which is an independent assessment to make sure the dogs are safe and under control to go out onto the street. What you'll see now is the decoy is offering a threat to the handlers. They'll start to go forward and offer a threat and the dogs will be deployed to detain the people. They'll take a good firm bite. And these are just clatter sticks. These are just sticks to make a noise, just to put a bit of distraction into the dogs. Um, and we teach the dogs to work through those distractions and then come off again when they're told to. Then the dogs are put into a nice controlled position. So we work on getting the dogs to engage and then switch off so they're nice and calm. And then when the decoys then offer a threat to the handler, the dogs will be engaged into a bite. So here we're going to put the dogs into a controlled position. Nice, calm down, good level of control. And then as the handlers move towards the decoys, they'll be attacked and the dogs will engage naturally. So that's a really good show of courage by the two dogs. So young dog Goose and young dog Astro. And the dogs are rewarded with getting their toy at the end. So here we have Sergeant John Simpson and police dog Astro with trainer Scott Mulsher and PC Lisa Phillips with young dog Goose and instructor Tony Brown. So give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. starting to get a little bit moody. I don't know whether you know, but we're actually still outstanding one person who managed to get away from the burglary earlier and he's still hiding somewhere. So we might be calling on your assistance shortly. There's also been reports there's quite a big gathering of people outside of the arena. So we get some big claps, folks. There's a bit of a moody crowd here, and we could do some dogs to get rid of these. So one of the capabilities is being able to deal with the crowd.
So what you've just seen there is two of our general purpose police dogs dealing with a crowd of people. They bark to push the crowd back and then if somebody offers a threat to the handlers, the dogs will engage and detain the people. Now, unfortunately, that group of rowdy uh, hooligans have left some bags on the floor and we think there might be some illicit substances in some of those bags. So what we're going to call upon is two of our drugs dogs with PC Russ Martin and Jasper and PC Carl Woodall with police dog Dibley. They will search the bags in front of us and hopefully if they find something that shouldn't be in the bag they will freeze upon it and indicate to the handler that there's something in there that shouldn't be in there. So here are the dogs searching the bags. Oh, one of them searching through. So the dogs are working through all the bags, they're checking everything in the bag to make sure. And they had the freeze. So they found something that is. They had the clicks, we use clicker training in our training. So the handler will click to mark the behaviour. And then again, they deliver the toy as their reward for displaying the correct behaviour. So what you'll also see is that these dogs are also capable of searching people. So if we're at um, crowds of people, the dogs will scan them um, and indicate to the handler whether someone's carrying any illicit goods. So this is where it starts to get interesting. So the dogs are going up the seats at the moment. They're up on the big screen if you can't see them. So they will search the seats, they'll search the bags, they'll search the people. And they'll be checking to see whether anyone has got anything they shouldn't. <laughs> so they'll work all the way up the steps. If anyone's expecting Anton Deck to pop out at any time, please don't, we're not that organised. So here they are coming back down the, the steps. And one of the things the dogs will do is if someone is carrying something illicitly and the people get up to walk away, these dogs will actually follow them and keep indicating to the handler that these people have got something on them they shouldn't have. So please don't think you can run away. So as the dogs come back round, we'll bring them back onto the chairs at the front and they'll just scan those people at the front who look a little bit suspect. So I'll scan the people. As I say, if they find something they shouldn't, they'll freeze on the person. And if the person decides to get up and walk, the dog will also follow them. Oh. 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 So unfortunately, I think these two people will be coming backstage with us. So there you've got the dog freezing and the handler will click and reward the behaviour. So that's PC Russ Martin and Police Dog Spencer and PC Carl Woodall with Police Dog Ghibli. Now, what we're actually going to do is invite some members of the um, crowd to come down if they want to join um, onto the front. So please come on down and we're just going to show you the dog scanning a crowd of people. So if you've got a couple of seconds, just come on into the arena. And what we'll do, we'll have you guys in a line and we'll show you the dogs work in a line. So if there's a, um, a line of people, a queue of people and we want the dogs to work through, um, the dogs again will indicate with a freeze and then follow the person who's got the substance. So you can see, police dog Jasper over there is working the crowd. We're getting a nice line please, if you could just single file in a line. and all face the front. Okay, so what you'll see now is the two dogs will work through this line and scan every person in the line. How are the pulses? Ooh. Ooh. And there we have it. So police dog Dibley is indicated on someone, he gets the click and the ball reward. And then police dog Spencer's at the end. Oh, 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 
dear. Is that strange person again? There we go. So, and as you see, the dog will follow the person who has got the illicit substances. Okay, folks, that's great. If you could all go back to your seats. That's PC Carl Woodall and Police Dog Dibley and PC Russ Martin and Police Dog Jasper. So a big round of applause for those. Just make your way back to your seat. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, the outstanding person. We thought we'd actually got away this year without Mr. Angry, but unfortunately, He's out on the screen at the moment. Can anybody see this person in the crowd? We always rely on members of the public to help us identify and stop crime. I think there's somebody coming down here. Is this the infamous Mr. Angry? A big boo and a hiss, folks. We thought we could get rid of him. Uh oh, he's carrying a knife. And as you can see, there's a bit of a problem at the moment with knives and we will use every appropriate tool we've got to deal with knife crime. So you'll see how this Mr. Angry is finally going to be dealt with. Folks, a big cheer. We finally managed to capture Mr. Angry once and for all. Hopefully, that's the last we've seen of him. Our Land Rover's just going off. Oh, here he is again. Has anyone got any dogs out? Hey, can somebody get rid of this dog? Who wants to see Mr. Angry dealt with by two of our dogs? Are we going to get rid of him once and for all? Here we go. There we go. I think he's got what he's deserved there, folks. And that just shows how social and calm our dogs are when they need to work as part of a team and detain, finally, Mr. Angry. Does everyone want to see that again? Yes, we do. So, police dog Echo with PC Carl Dean, he's over here. PC Paul King with police dog Mason. He's going to give Mr. Angry a bit of medicine. Here they go, folks. So, that just shows the two dogs can work around each other and can be. Called back, rewarded with the ball, and back to the handler for a final reward. A big round of applause to Police Dog Paul King with Police Dog Mason and PC Carl Dean with Police Dog Echo, and of course the infamous Mr. Angry. Folks, that's the end of our Police Dog demonstration. We hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we'll just welcome the guys back on to the arena for a big round of applause. So um, we're not a display team, these are all operational dogs with operational handlers who've all given up their time um, to come and do the display today. The dogs that are currently on their initial course have actually been out training this morning, um, so they've taken time out of their training day today to come and give you a little demonstration as to what they're doing and how they're progressing. Uh, and of course all of our volunteers who look after our young dogs as part of our puppy development programme have given up their time to come and support us. If anybody's interested in some of the volunteering opportunities with our puppy development programme, we have got a standing hall three, 
so please do come and speak to us. Uh, and also our thanks to our two firearms officers who again have given up their own time to come and support the demonstration for you. A big round of applause to guys there. As efficient as they are. Dave Hibbert there is rounding off his commentary. Um, it's interesting that uh, Mr. Angry there, I've got to say, he's, he's a lovely guy. <laughs> he doesn't look it, does he? But he's, uh, he's been involved in these demonstrations for years, and for a long time he was uh, partly responsible for the breeding program, so he knows just about everything there is to know about the dogs he's working with. But it's a tremendous display, and we're always very grateful to the West Midlands Police for coming to Crofts and performing for us.